This is an example of another equation where we need to sort of understand the laws of logarithms and exponentials in order to solve for x. So we're given the equation e raised to 2x minus 3e e to the x plus 2 equals 0, and we're trying to solve for x. So the first thing that we can do in this equation is recognize that this sort of looks like a quadratic. If we said we had some u equal to e to the x, if we just substitute u for e to the x, this equation, this e to the 2x minus 3e to the x plus 2, would turn into u squared minus 3u plus 2 equals 0. Now if we had this equation to start, u squared minus 3u plus 2 equals 0, we would know how to solve that using some of the, the uh, solving methods we learned in algebra. We could use the quadratic formula if we want, but for this one, we can actually just factor it, right? Two factors that m multiply to get 2 are 2 and 1, or negative 2 and negative 1. The negative 2 and negative 1 can add to get that negative 3, so those are going to be the factors that we're going to use. u minus 2, u minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, u equals 2 and u equals 1. But what's u? We can't just leave it like this, right? We're trying to solve for x. So if we substitute back in that e to the x, we have e to the x equals 2 and e to the x equals 1. Hmm. Now, how do we solve for x? We still have x as an exponent. Once we're at this level, it's really easy just to take the natural log of something. We know this rule here. If you have natural log of e to the x, that just equals x. The natural log e cancels out. That whole business cancels out. So if, if we take the natural log to both sides for this equation, we're going to end up with natural log of e to the x equals natural log of 2. We know that that natural log and e are going to cancel out. x equals the natural log of 2. How about this one? We have e to the x equals 1. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Natural log of e to the x equals natural log of 1. Therefore, x equals natural log of 1. This one we can simplify even farther, and we can say for sure that x equals 0. Why does x equal 0? Well, we know that b to the y equals x, right? This is the equation we know from log. Well, we have b to the y equals 1. So we could rewrite this like our base for natural log is e. e to the y equals 1. Any base though to the y equaling 1 oops, means for certain that y had to be 0. Anything raised to the 0 equals 1. So that's our x. That's where we're getting that x. So x equals 0 and x equals natural log of 2.